Okay, welcome to the first tutorial uh, on iWeb. This is about the seventh take of this, so I'm hoping it's going to work. <laughs> you always forget things. Anyway, um, what we're going to do is have a look at iWeb from the point of view of the beginner, but also from those people who've, who are using it but don't actually know the insides of it yet. I'm going to show you that too. So there's some complexity in this. Bear with me and you'll uh, work through it. You can play the movie over and over again and it'll help you. So let's open up iWeb first. Okay, that's opening up. Now I'm going to get rid of this uh, and get rid of this because that was what I had done in the past. This is what you should be faced with basically is this page. You can choose themes here with, with all sorts of different themes that are available and some that you can download from the net as well and I recommend those uh, in a later tutorial. Um, now let's just click on one and up comes the page saying welcome, welcome to my site and so forth. Now you can change the page name here just by double clicking on it and saying um, you know whatever you like first page that can be it and if you press enter you'll see that that reflects in the page itself now it's first page. You can change your site name and you should do to something which makes sense because if you do an uh, a podcast or something um, you will want to change it and uh, so let's do it anyway. Let's call it um, test site just for the fun of it. You ch change it to whatever you want, you know, Dave's great site or whatever. Um, when you click on that one you don't see anything, okay? Uh, and if you then press um, delete you will lose everything that you've written. I know this because my parrot took a flying leap from my shoulder onto the delete key when I was doing a site at one stage and I, I lost a bit of stuff so that was a real pain. Uh, I did manage to get it back. but Okay now here it is. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to slip a picture in and you'll notice here you've got in the media button if you haven't got the media one open then you just click down here media. <coughs> just give you a run of the bottom buttons. You've got T for text which opens up a text box for you to type into. This makes shapes. Don't worry about those for the moment. Um, this opens up media which is what you want which gives you your audio, photos, movies. <coughs> allows, this allows you to adjust um, uh, different things. Um, the uh, inspector which is incredibly important and that gives you a number of different things about the page and I'll go through each one of those in a different movie. Um, colors and finally your fonts. Uh, we'll go through that in a minute too. Now let's just drag a picture here. We've got a nice picture of birds and we're going to drag that over to where the picture is, the other picture, and it'll slip into the placeholder. We can then change the text to whatever you want and change this text to whatever you want. It puts up a sort of gobbledygook text which allows you to, to look at things. Uh, but we're just going to leave that for the moment because I can't be blowed typing and my spelling so appalling that you'll all laugh at me and I just can't stand that. I've got a very weak character when it comes to that. Uh, okay, now let's have a look. Let's save it. Okay, now saving things on a Mac is very simple. It's always the same. It's always the flower key and uh, the S. Oh, uh, well, Apple S. <coughs> I don't know what you call that key, but I always call it the flower key so you'll know that for now and it looks like it's got a bit of a flower on it. Click that, save it, and uh, now if you want, let's quit iWeb for a second. And uh, whoops, just missed it. Um, that's always flower Q as well. Now we're going to find out where that's been saved to because this is incredibly important. So we'll open up the hard disk. We're going to look at users. You, you may only, you may, may be the only one, so you'll be there. Um, like I am Dave Webb, but uh, it's a good idea to get an idea of how the folders work. So we'll look at users. Now I've got a lot of users on this Mac, so and you might have too. So uh, in this particular one, I call myself Dave Webb. You can always tell which one you're logged into because it's got a home or a house there, Dave Webb. Okay, so click on that. Okay, so um, now you've got library. So double click on library, application support iWeb and in the iWeb you'll find well you'll find just a thing called domain dot sites or just domain it might just be domain anyway that is where everything is stored 
okay the, the file that says domain primarily is the file that uh, has all of the stuff in it now you can at any stage make a copy of that and I always recommend to go to that in fact I reckon it's nice to take this folder um, go back one so you're using this button here to go back to um, to application support find the iWeb folder grab it and put it up in your top bar one of the tricks that we learned before because that allows you to get to it grab the domain site's na name this is a sort of manual way of doing it make a copy of it by clicking right clicking or control clicking and uh, say duplicate it okay now it says copy there and drag that copy off onto your desktop <coughs> to keep a copy of it before you start making any changes to your, to your um, iWeb site because that, at any stage you want to put the, go back to normal what you do is simply drag that back into that iWeb site and get rid of the copy and that will become your site again so if you've blown it up for some reason you'll be okay now there is a little program that was made by um, a wonderful wonderful woman who uh, does a lot of work on uh, iWeb and I'll put that in uh, to the um, site as well that uh, allows you what it is is a little automator that uh, backs up your your file for you in a, in a much easier way but uh, for the moment this is good because it, it teaches you exactly where the file is so you've got some idea of what's going on the number of times people write on to the uh, support group saying I've lost my site I don't know where it is um, because they've uh, you know upgraded their computer or whatever they've done they thought it goes with the program it doesn't it's always stored in that folder okay so if you're not sure go back through this movie again to have a look and see where the folder is be careful because there's a trick for beginners and that is that there are two library folders okay so if I go back through those um, what you'll see is uh, if I go right back to the beginning so now I'm looking at the main one again you'll see a library folder there that's not in the users one right now that's if you look at that and go to application support there is no iWeb folder okay so a lot of people get stuck with that as well so be careful of that one it's a good trick for beginners remember where it is it's in your what they call your root directory or the users root directory so users Dave and Oz is the name I've got here. Um, library. Oops, long, wrong one. It's going through to my um, my other root folder. So um, users. Uh, Dave Web. Library. Application support. iWeb. And there it is. Okay, domain sites. Okay, so that's the first lesson, and we'll come back for another one in a minute.